Good evening and welcome to News Watch at 530. I'm Teresa Kashuba and on tonight's show, it's exciting news for Lakefield, for Peterborough, and actually the world of medicine, anybody who needs to receive medication by injection. On tonight's show, we are speaking with representatives of PKA Soft Touch Corporation. It's a Lakefield-based company that has developed and is getting ready to clinically trial a pain-free needle pain-free injection. We'll find out all about it, but it's getting ready for worldwide distribution, but it will be manufactured in our area. News Watch at 5.30 continues, and we are focusing on a painless intradermal delivery of insulin. Dick Crawford, what does that mean? Uh, that's, uh, that's a device that we invented so we can um, put a drug inside somebody's body painlessly, because it only goes into the skin. Now, if, if a drug only goes into the skin, I mean, what's been going on so far? People, injections have to go through the, the layers? Right. Is that yeah, where the, the pain comes the, in? The technology out there today is just a syringe, and the yes. syringe goes through the skin into subcutaneous tissues that have nerve endings that give you the ouch. Uh -huh. So we're the only one in the world right now to perfect a device that only goes into the skin only, the skin layer. Now, the cat's out of the bag. This has been in development for how many years? Five years. And, and this just came kind of to the public now. Why? Why? Because uh, we had won an award uh, last week at the uh, Gallo Awards for Peterborough Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations, Innovation Thank Award you. winners. Yes, and, and we're at the point where we now we need public exposure or device. We kept it under wrap for five years until the technology developed to the level that we need it. Okay, so all of the hoopla is about, uh, you have uh, an actual sample of the device right I, here in I your hand. I do here. And here it is. But this, like is the, this is this device. Let Kevin see it. Uh, and the beauty of this device is it can be used anywhere there's skin on the body. And I'm just going to use my hand. Could be my arm, my leg, or my torso, or anywhere. Okay. Where the syringe is going to be used in five points in the body. Why so, is that? Because well, because you need enough tissue in order to absorb the, the drug. Okay. We use the skin because the skin is the biggest organ in the body and has a lot of interstitial fluid that takes the drug into the bloodstream faster, twice as fast. <laughs> And that's what this chart shows here, that uh, this is our, our drug here. We get a peak here, and this is the syringe peak is there. So we're twice as fast to get the drug into the bloodstream. People who take insulin have to gauge the time between uh, when they take their meals. So they yes. have to inject themselves before the meal. So this way they can inject themselves less time before oh, the meal. Okay. Uh, so then it just flat, it goes flat here. Now, why, why insulin? Um, and uh, I know that this is a very important connection with Dr. Modi, yes. who helped do this development. Yes, uh, and Dr. Modi, who invented it, the reason why it's important that we use insulin, because insulin is used by a lot of people around the world. There's 177 million people that have diabetes. Okay. Right, so this device allows them to use it painlessly, and so therefore they'd be able to use it more often when they need to use it. When, when people are getting stuck with a, with a syringe that has an ouch to it, People try to avoid taking mm. it. And so. so can you show us how it works? Yes. Okay, this is, uh, this is a very simple device. It's e easy to make. And we put it on the skin, as you've shown. And we press down once. And when we press down, the needle goes into the skin and delivers the drug into the skin. And then you will hear a click. And then the patient will know that they got the drug. Because it's painless, they won't know where they have the drug. So that's simple as that. And, and it's disposable, just like a syringe, and you throw it away. So it's a one-shot device. And so inside, so this is charged already with all of the medication yes. when it comes to yes. a and patient. And we're going to color code the cap to indicate the different number of units that the person wants to have for insulin. Okay. It might be red for five units or blue for ten units and so on. Because uh, when, when uh, people who have diabetes get older, their eyesight fails. So it's hard for them to look at a syringe to see what the marking is. Oh. This way they look at a color and they know exactly what I need to take. And you can put this in your pocket, the purse, so it's easy to oh do. Oh my goodness, and you won't, you, won't, uh, you won't discharge the medication, you won't poke anything. Right. Now is the needle, so When the needle comes back in, the device, yes. it then goes into a different channel, so it can't be used again, so there's no street value, right? And with a syringe, people on the street can be injecting other drugs into the syringe. Okay. So there's no street value with this. And it's also very safe. Like in hospitals, nurses have to be careful about the syringe after they use it. This, it retracts and, and can't come out again. Uh, okay, I have one last question before we move into uh, the property here on Merit Precision Molding, which is also part of uh, the manufacturing mm -hmm. here. Uh, 
Aren't you Dick Crawford of Crawford Building Consultants? Yes, I, uh, so, I have two businesses. <laughs> what's the connection between you and medicine? Why, why did you get, um, become part of this? I have 40 years experience in the pharmaceutical industry and Crawford Building Consultants builds pharmaceutical plants and, <sighs> and develops the, uh, uh, the technology inside for the machines and equipment that makes pharmaceuticals. And that's based, P and, and Crawford Building Consultants is based in Lakefield. That's right. So, yay Lakefield. Yes. All right, we're going to move into the property here on Merit Precision and find out a little bit more about the manufacturing of this very special little piece of equipment. Getting ready for worldwide exposure. Ah, starting now. Starting now. Woohoo! Uh, this is also ahead on News Watch at 5.30. Sit back into the chair, so we're, we're barely touching the chair. We're just going to come down to the chair and then back up. Barely oh, okay. touch it and back up. Okay, so... so the chair that moves, you don't want to be too, too fast with it. Yeah. Newswatch at 5.30 continues, and we're following the PKA soft touch story regarding that. I guess we're going to call it an injectionable, a micro-injection device. Is that right? That's right. Micro-needle injection device. Okay. So what brings us to um, this facility, Merit Precision Molding in Peterborough? Uh, we had to develop partners in order to make our device, and Merit Precision and Steelworks were the two companies that were in Peterborough that helped us develop our device. And so uh, to make our device, which is made out of plastic. We went to an injection molding company that Merrick can make a lot of these for devices for the market. So what do you foresee then? Um, and, and at what point will we be in manufacturing, uh, the manufacturing stage of this device? Uh, we expect to be making some of these devices for the clinical trials in, uh, in next year. We have a large number of devices. After that, when it goes in the market, in the year after that, we went to make thousands of devices per day. And those will all be made in this area? They will be made here. We'll have, probably need about several of these injection molding machines to make the, the number of devices that we need for this market. This is exciting news. It also must be a, a significant gambles, too, not just for investors, but for your time, Dr. Modi, companies and organizations like Merit. That's a big gamble, is it not? Uh, yes, it is. There's always a risk uh, to do this business, but we knew this device worked five years ago, and that's where we decided to incorporate and build this uh, device. This device will be a boon to, to humankind around the world. It's going to make it easy to deliver drugs to somebody's body without pain. News Watch at 530 continues. Following the story of the development of a, of a device that's going to change the, administering of, uh, the administration of injectable medicines around the world. This is so exciting. So we've been brought now to Steelworks Design in Peterborough. What's the role that this company has played in the development of the, of the micro needle? Micro needle, yes. Uh, uh, we chose uh, Steelworks because they have the technology to develop the tooling to make the bubble. The bubble contains the drug that goes inside this uh, little device here. So it's a very small bubble, but it contains all the medicine you need to be injected in the body. So when that is, is, is that uh, already been created then, that, that uh, machine, or, or is that in development now? Uh, it's in development now. We already created the machines that make this bubble. And it's already perfected, so we're ready to go to the next step. So where will these um, small bubbles be filled then with the, the medication? Yeah, these machines were taken to a sterile facility, either a sterile hood or, or a sterile room, where we need to assemble the devices in the sterile condition and the, put the bubbles inside the device in a sterile condition because the needle has to go inside the body, so it has to be sterilized. Why did you pick Merit and Steelworks? Well, we, we have a, a business person that we use for business advisory services and so he recommended Merit Position and Steelworks as uh, being companies who could help us out. So now they're our partners. So this is, a, again, exciting news for everybody. And, and congratulations to, to you and, and the team who helped get this development in the first place. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, this will be a big impact on the local economy. If we look at uh, the 3 million uh, diabetics uh, in, in Canada, this will represent 13,000 devices per day if we, if we get 1% of the Canadian market. So we're talking some large numbers. And at what point do you think that will start happening? When will we start seeing that effect and that, that development here? That should be occurring in one and a half to two years from now. Well, when that is in progress, can we have a catch-up appointment at that time? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, it's Dick Crawford from PKA Soft Touch Corporation developing this little star of the show. The world is getting ready to see this micro needle 
injection device that will inject medication with a needle without the ouch, right? That's right. Without the ouch. All righty. News Watch at 530 has run out of time. Thanks for joining us tonight. Coming up next is News Watch at 6.